Hey guys, today we're going to be creating a hitscan FPS gun. This is expecting to be a parent class with multiple variables that are instance editable, as shown here. Hopefully this tutorial will treat you well, and uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is be creating a first person template. The projectile shooter is a way, is a kind of a base for our hitscan weapon. So I'm going to name it and create. Well, after you create the project and go into blueprints of the content folder, you should see one of two things. You should either see just the BP rifle or you should see BP pickup rifle and the component. If you are in 5.1 and above, you're going to see both. If you were in 5 if you're going to be in 5.0 and below, you'll just see the rifle. If today we're going to be since we're in 5.2, we're going to be in the components, but if you have 5.1 below, you're just going to be working inside of the pickup rifle. It's when you open up the blueprint, you should come across a blueprint that looks somewhat like this. So what we're first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the projectile spawn logic since it is not necessary. And you are going to take the montage play and just move it down to the side for now. We will come back to that later. After you have done all that, next thing we're going to do for convenience sake is add a sequence node. Preferably three pins, then O, then one, then two. And you can take then two and plug it into the montage play. Off of the then one node, another easy thing to do is to play sound at location. And this we are going to use the first person template weapon fire two. Again, play sound at location and use the sound first person template. Now we're going to get into the actual hit scan part of the FPS gun. So first thing we're going to do is do a, we're going to create a line trace by channel. After we add the line trace by channel, we are going to get first person character. And then based off of first person character, we are going to get first person camera. After we get first person camera, we are going to get world location. Basically what this does, it's going to shoot the line trace from the camera itself. So when you add, say, a, a crosshair, it's going to shoot directly at the crosshair. After we have the get world location, we are going to branch off and do the add node. After you have the add node, you're going to branch off and create the multiply node. After we have the multiply node, we are going to do a two float single precision. After you changed it to a single precision float, you're going to drag out of the get first person camera to get get forward vector. And the get forward vector we are going to plug directly into the top of the multiply node. And if it changes it, just change it right back to the float single. After you have the single precision node, what I like to do is promote to a variable and title it gun range. This allows it to be changed in the child blueprints, compile it, and currently I have it at 2000. It's an easy number and you can change it in the future. And then after all of that, we're going to drag off of actors to ignore and do a make array node. And then after all of that, we are going to do get again the first person character. If you are in 5.0, it will be called first person reference, I believe. So just type in first person character and you should find at least first person character reference. You could clean up the system a lot better. I am going to do that now. After you clean up a bit, make sure that the plugins are the start from get world return value is that plugin at start and the top of the plus node is going to be the end. 
thing. And the make array is gonna be plugged in from actors to ignore. And another thing I would highly recommend doing is draw a debug type for duration. This will allow you to see the hit scan laser, let's call it, or the line trace. You'll be able to see it while you are in the game and play testing. After you have everything plugged in, we're gonna go over to the out hit result and do the break hit result. The break hit result, we are going to expand it and draw out of hit actors. Right now, we are just going to do the apply damage. If you already have a damage system, then have a reference to that. But this is based off of just having a basic apply damage system. And the next thing we are going to do is have take the base damage and promote it to a variable. Again, this allows us to change it in the child blueprint classes and just name it base damage. We're going to compile and save and change the damage to whatever number you feel like. So say we're going off of uh, Fortnite standards and body shots going to be 55 damage. Compile and save. After we have done all of that, it should look something along the lines of this. Obviously, it'd probably be best if you create a more um, organized layout, but this is what I'm gonna have right now. I recommend pausing the screen and double checking which ones are plugged into which and to see if you have everything right. I did change up the first person character since it's the same reference. I just changed it to here. So if you think something's messed up, you're fine if it's a separate first person character node but this is what it should look like. Now we should be allowed to go into the playtest feature. Go over, pick up the gun, and it should shoot a laser, or a line trace, right where the center of your screen. So that is the tutorial, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below, and uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Um,